Well hey guys, Sakatrius here, I welcome you to this video. I have promised to make an informational video and I try to make it quick. Because I have lunch coming up, it's still in the oven right now, and I really want to eat and prepare for the stream later. Um, I have three topics I want to discuss. First up, the four, uh, the four projects. Next up, the crystal thing. And lastly, the stream thing. So bear with me, I'll hope to be quick. So first up, I wanted to talk about the projects, and you have seen the first preview of this deck, Chronicle Key, a few days ago. I mean, a few of you have, but I, I think this, this this is probably the first deck that will have a full video. So I have four projects that I that are decks that I have been either working on for a longer time, but never got the motivation to do a video about, or just recently built. Like Chronicle Key is the latest uh, deck to, in addition, like. I haven't played with uh, Chronicle Key so much yet, but it's really really fun outside of a non-existing turn 1. But hey, it's Orphagil, what do you expect? Okay, it's Orphagil and I only run a very few Orphagil cards, but it's Orphagil based, I assure you. So we have Chronicle Key, we have Compendium. Compendium is my real life deck, and that is something that I wanna like uh, think about when building this deck. This is why this deck will never have any OCG only cards in it. So th this deck is probably about to follow uh, up Chronicle Key. But the thing about Companion is because it's a real life deck, I want to like play with uh, play around with the options uh, a little in Percy and also in real life. And one card I thought about trying is Pinpoint Landing because we're playing Mech Knights and Mech Knights special summon themselves from the hand and you can almost every uh, every turn get a magnet special summon off your hand and Saryuja also procs pinpoint landing basically so I want to see what I can do with these free draws however I do not know how to like uh, implement those cards into the deck yet but yeah compendium real life deck uh, actually visible through like hand traps and shit but yeah this this is project number two project number three is thunder there it is. Thunder is a deck that, I mean, you could play Thunder Dragons in a very, very more like distinct way. You could play them in like a way that is pretty, like 40 cards that just lock you down eternally. But I kind of like this version for some reasons. Like, they, I, I have options here. I probably, this is the one I'm not too sure about. Sometimes I get off with it right, like really hard. Most of the times I don't. And I might scrap this, I might keep this, it's not for sure. And last but not least, we have a chaotic mess, how I call it. This is a Buster Blader, not Buster Blader, that's wrong. I, I read Buster Blader at the top, I'm sorry. This is a BLS lot of red deck that's pretty much turbing out. This is, however, dependent on how the August or September ban list plays out. Because we are playing Phoenix Blade, which I think might be getting a hit. We play Isolde, which might be getting a hit. We play Goblin, which might be getting a hit. So this is like not set in stone yet that we're like doing something like Chaotic Mass. So this is, gone, this is going to be last, if anything. So we have these four projects. I also still have Paradise 2. I never made a, a video about Paradise 2. But same deal, uh, Isolde and um, Goblin are also on here, so not too sure how to deal with that. So bear with me, I might not even make a video about Paradise 2, I might not even make a video about Chaotic Mess, I might not even make a video about Thunder, so the only the only decks I really 100% want to make a video about are Project 1 Chronicle Key and Project 2 Compendium. Those are the two decks I really want to make videos about. So much about that. Next up we've got Crystrons and I have this list and looking at this list I haven't really <laughs> dabbled with Crystrons in a long long ass time and that is pretty much why I haven't do been doing so many videos because I'm really behind on Crystrons mainly because I, I started to love them when I played them online, but they really bond with me when I played them IRL. And I just recently dug up my IRL Crystron deck where there's still Gofu in there. Mainly because I'm still waiting for a needle fiber to have at least a release date to dabble more with this deck in real life. 
Like, I will still make videos about it. I will still, like, show you what I'm thinking about with this deck. However, I, and, I, and I will still make videos about it. That, that's for sure. I have videos planned. I have videos planned with Iron Draw and stuff. Like, uh, like this card. This card. I have had this... I have had the full video planned out for a decade. But I can't make... It, it, it takes some serious motivation for me to actually make the video, but I will do it. I'm also working on doing actually real-life content. I actually got two iron draws. Okay, I have one now, but one promised by a friend. But I will get the second iron draw, because I think if you play it, it's better at two. But I will make a video about it, and I even, I'm even working on like... On like a play mat, and this is like what I have figured out so far. This is also the predecessor of a new thumbnail. Uh, thing I have going on like the new thumbnail for Chronicle Key. I really love that new thumbnail I'm really glad I got into like editing images a little more so I could actually make some better thumbnails now And I'm actually pretty pleased with how I'm doing but yeah for Chris Trump thing is mainly Yeah, I Don't really have motivation for Chris Trump right now I haven't dabbled with him for so long and I'm really waiting for a release date of needle fiber at least I mean, if Riser comes, that's also cool, but Needle Fiber is like so important, and I really don't want to dabble with the deck too much. It, I will still make content about it, but do not expect it to be like overly frequent. It is still my favorite archetype, and I was I still love it to the bone, but I really have problems with motivation right now. Last but not least, and I cannot actually make it up, so I'm I'm probably going back to the to the nice picture here. Um, I have streams and I have been streaming for like three weeks every every Friday and every Sunday But I never really made an announcement for that and that is because I don't know how long it will stay like that today will be a stream on uh, at, at 20 p.m. on Sunday the 22nd will be a stream at uh, at 8 p.m. on the uh, Central European summertime, by the way. On Friday the 27th will be a stream on 8 p.m. And on Sunday the 29th will be a stream on 8 p.m. Central European summertime. However, after that, there is no guarantee anymore that I will actually push out streams. That is because I have a new kind of job then, and I don't know how the times work then. I really have fun streaming now, and I really like to do it twice a week. But I don't know how long I can do it, and I don't know how the times are. But if I can squeeze a stream on Friday 20 p.m. Uh, 20 p.m. 8 p.m. If I can squeeze a stream on Sunday 8 p.m., I will do it. And that's like the second big thing. Like, this channel is getting back to life, if it, uh, and... I will not let it keep being dead. Don't worry about that. Well, that's all I have time for now. I think my my, my lunch is getting a little brown now. I hope you guys uh, are looking forward to what I have in store, because I am certainly. And I hope I see some of you guys in the stream in like one hour. So yeah, hope to see you guys. And on to the next round. Stay Raven.